right, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. And also, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. Uh, you are starting off with your overall energy, milk and honey, and a leg up. Uh, it looks like you really want to work together with somebody, put in the work and effort here, um, or you've been doing that, um, to get some kind of like sweet results here um, with that milk and honey. I feel like it's like the juice is worth the squeeze. This is worth investing your time, effort, and energy into. Oh, time for a nap. Could just be a temporary break, or maybe you've been just working, working, going, 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 and you're just, you're exhausted, you're running yourself ragged here. Uh, your person's overall energy, they have imagine. I feel like your person is uh, visualizing, daydreaming, thinking about you, or trying to manifest something. Um, so far I'm seeing 44 and 22 for angel numbers. All that glitters. Give me one more for Taurus's person's overall energy. Thank you. Chaos and conflict, number 33. So we have 22, 33, 44 for angel numbers. All right. Um, I feel like your person was wearing a false self mask, Taurus. Uh, they may not have been honest and open, or they were pretending, hiding, faking, gaslighting. Um, creating some kind of chaos and conflict here. Underlying energy, we have not for you and observer. Never ending story. Okay, is this still the energy from last week's reading here, Taurus? Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Uh, Taurus, this person's current situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're sneaky, manipulative, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing. There could be jealousy, possessiveness. I feel like your person, though, with as far as emotions go, that they don't know how to show their emotions or they're very sneaky on how they approach uh, a love connection. Um, it may just, they may just be like wired that way. Uh, to be like sneaky, selfish, do what they please, do what makes them happy, and not care about the consequences. <laughs> the devil. The shadow side. This person has some things uh, they need to face, work with, heal. A shadow side. Uh, Capricorn energy, Cancerian energy is here as well. What else? Taurus this person. What else? They have some toxic ways here. There may be some kind of like possessive jealousy, like I said. Uh, there could be like an addiction, sex addiction, drinking, partying. Ace of Wands. There's, they're attracted to you. There's desire, passion. Uh, Tell me more about this person for Taurus. Tell me more about this person for Taurus. What are they waiting? They're waiting. Three of Wands. What are they waiting for? What are they waiting for? To reignite this flame with you. To reignite this spark. They may have felt like they pushed it too far and pushed you away. You may have said, Taurus, like, I need, I need a break. I need, I need to stop for a second with this connection. They want, they want to get this moving forward here. They want to heal this. You are a wish come true to them. However, <sighs> there's some toxic ways they need to work through. They need to heal. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I have Aquarius. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what was blocking this connection. What was blocking this connection for Taurus and their person? What was blocking this connection? 
Tough energy, Taurus. It's really tough energy. All that glitters. They were pretending to be something they weren't. And I think you saw through their BS. I think you called them out. I think you said, you know what? I need to take a break from this. This isn't for me. Or you even just called it quits. And decided to put in some work and effort on, on your own happiness here with your overall energy. Um, let's see. Blockages. Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Backstabbing. Painful ending. Things not moving forward. And the Chariot with the Wheel. Cancerian energy. Things were not moving forward here for you in this connection. This person may not, you know, have wanted to commit or settle down. Um... I feel like, again, a very selfish, self-centered energy. They could have been like projecting things onto you. If this is resonating, this, this hard, tough, toxic energy, watch last week's reading if you haven't already. I feel like this is a continuation of that. Uh, last week's I felt was like really specific, but a lot of you actually resonated with it. So check that one out. Um... Yeah, I feel like this, you know, again, this person would not see things from a different angle. It's like, I am who I am and I'm not going to change for nobody. Um, they wouldn't see things from a different perspective or put themselves in your shoes or see the damage they were doing. They were very tunnel visioned with this. Selfish. It was selfish. Uh, they were very guarded, walls up, protective of themselves you know, in a, not a good way. Um, I feel like they like to fight, argue. They could even have projected, um, pointing the finger, narcissistic, gaslighting energy, seven of wands. They weren't protecting this connection, Taurus. You could have been putting in all the work, all the effort, and this person just... King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag, could have had a fire sign get in the way here, or this person, again, I don't know, ego, very like all about themselves, self-fulfilling desires, this Queen of Cups again, could be dealing with a, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a fire sign got in between the two of you, or this person takes on those personality traits uh very driven forward moving passionate could be go getter on a positive note but it is a blockage so that's why i'm saying i feel a very like possessive controlling um fiery over emotional can't handle their emotions they act out they project i feel like they take it out on you this person here you are with all you, you're authentic, genuine, Taurus. All you want is to like love this person, and man, oh man, they make it hard. They make it hard for you to do that. Let's see. How does this person feel about you? What are their emotions towards you, Taurus? What are their emotions towards you, Taurus? Well, they see you as strong. They see you as a very strong person, and you are. You are. Uh, we have strength, confidence, courage, Leo energy, six of pentacles, uh, knight of wands, Sagittarius energy, knight of cups, Pisces energy. They see you very, you're tough. You are tough, uh, Taurus. You are, um, you are a fixed sign, um, so you can be very um, firm, a little bit stubborn. But with this, it's good. That stubbornness, very good. It shows a strength here because I feel like this person tries to push all your buttons. Um, they feel you're very balanced. There is attraction, passion. There, There is emotions. There are romantic feelings. Um, but I feel like this person might see you, Taurus, and this is their perspective, not necessarily the truth, just their truth, okay? They could see you as like a player, very confident, going out there, meeting new people, being a player. And I'm not saying you are at all. I feel like you're very strong and grounded. This, if it's not the player energy, they just, they're very attracted to you. They see you as fun, adventurous, outgoing, flirty, 
um, spontaneous, that kind of energy, but also like romantic and genuine. They want to reconcile here. I feel like they they did have somewhat of a wake up call. They might use some kind of sexual desires to, to try and get you back. I feel like a lot of this for this person was sex based and I know that's not what you want to hear. There are emotions, so don't don't get me wrong. I, I see emotions here. I just feel like this person places their, their emotions, their views, at like their pain, their hurts, their shadow side, like things like that in the wrong places where it's, it's channeled wrong. And unfortunately, it all gets channeled onto you in a negative way. And how else do they feel about you, Taurus? Yeah, they're nostalgia, thinking about you, daydreaming about you. They want to reignite this flame. For some of you, there could be an age difference. All right, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Temperance, Sagittarius, the world, Six of Wands. You called them out. You called them out. Now you're this ice king, ice queen, whatever. You called him out on this, all of this. And now you're just going with the flow. You may have decided to close this chapter out here. There could be distance between the two of you, travel, something like that. But I feel like it's more saying like, you're closing this chapter out and you're going after victory and success here. I feel like this person actually sees you getting a lot of attention, going out, having fun, living your best life. They don't like it. They don't like it, but good for you. You may have children with this person or have known them since childhood or been with them a long time. I feel like they're, they're really looking back at old pictures, photos, memories, videos, things like that. Daydreaming or even nighttime dreaming. I don't know. They're, they're thinking about you. But they created this chaos and conflict because they weren't genuine. All right, Taurus, what are you going to do? What's the potential outcome here? Keep in mind, you have free will. So do they. You can change your mind. So can they. You're moving on. You're moving on to calmer waters. You might be looking, whoop, might be looking at other options or this mess got too confusing and you were just like, bye, I'm piecing out of here. It was, it was too hard. It was too rough. All right, what else? Potential outcome. Here you are, the Empress. For some of you, there could be a pregnancy involved or something along those lines. Take that how it resonates. Wow. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. Self-sabotage, fighting, heated fights, arguments, disputes, drama, one-upping, trying to win at all costs tip for tat that this this isn't good energy here this is very difficult energy here somebody is like mother could have gotten involved in this for some of you um again take it with a grain of salt it's here but it may not be for all of you all right let's see what else what else Potential outcome here for Taurus. There you are, King of Pentacles. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I feel like you're moving on. This is this got exhausting. Yeah, you're moving on to find new love. It came out in the challenge position. So what is this? What is this? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. You're walking away. You're moving on. They're stressed out. They want to talk. You're abandoning this. 
And then they want to talk. They're probably going to say, leave me like everybody else left me. You don't, you don't believe me. You don't love me. Pointing the finger at you. Because you became this ice queen, ice king. You cut them off and cut them out. It became too much. You walked away. You're abandoning. All right. They want to talk. It's stressing them out. Sleepless nights, high anxiety, replaying events over in their head. But they're, that's, the, that's the hard part is they're not taking responsibility for their actions. Now we have King of Swords in reverse. See? You're cutting them off. You, you're, you're, you're done. You called them out. You're cutting them off, cutting them out. They don't know what to do now. They're stressing. They're stressing. But on the exterior, on the exterior, I feel like they show you like they don't care or they try to manipulate. All right, death card just came out. Scorpionic energy, transformation, eight of pentacles, putting in work and effort, the magician. So what is this? Is this you? Ending this for a new beginning, because I already feel like I saw that for you. Temperance, Three of Cups. Uh, yeah, Taurus. <laughs> they could have put you in a third party situation as well. I, I feel like you're kind of putting in the work and effort on yourself, your own life. Yeah, yep. You are, you're focusing on work and your own stability and your own healing. Wow, to, to create your own happiness. I think you're going to block this person. Ghost them, block them. There's nothing this person... Look at, look at, look at. It's... Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're, you're getting yourself single and you're planting seeds. You have victory and say, wow, you actually have some... Let's see, they... They're going to they're gonna hang around. Their energy is going to linger for a little while. I feel like they're not ready to give up yet. I think that was the title of last week's. This person will not give up. <laughs> they're still not. They're still not giving up on this. But they're not willing to change either. So... Uh, can't be double-sided like that. Can't, can't. Your focus, okay, so the outcome here, they're going to keep trying. I feel like you're actually really, like, done, ready to walk away and <laughs> towards your own happiness. So you're going to heal, and you're also going to be putting in work and effort, and I think you're just going to stay single for a little bit, but you're going to go out and have fun and meet new people. You may have somebody else coming towards you that you're trying to manifest, something that could be divinely guided here. You might meet them while you're out with your friends having fun. You could also meet them if you're working on a project or I was hearing a class, like taking a class or at the gym or something like that. You might meet them. It's going to be either through somebody or while you're with somebody. All right. Uh, let's see. Biggest obstacle for Taurus. Biggest obstacle for Taurus. To overcome. Harmony. Guilt. Yeah, see if this person um, projected a lot onto you and put the guilt on you. It's your fault this didn't work out. It's your fault that we're, you know, um, that you're leaving me. How could you do this to me? that they're trying to do that on purpose to make you feel guilty and that is an obstacle to overcome that guilt that they make you feel and find peace and harmony within yourself um, past lives did come out uh this could be a past life karmic lesson here uh, for them for you for both stress and intensity wow i feel like this is the exact same reading as last week it's insane i feel like this came out intensity past lives yeah, overcoming the stress of all of this, the intensity, this, this wore you out. This exhausted you, Taurus. All right, it, not for you. Sit back and watch. They're probably watching you, which that came out already. All right, let's see, observe, see? 
Social media fascination, curiosity, watching from a distance. All right, be careful. Some of you, if you feel you're in danger, this person could be harmful or dangerous, get help. Um, if it's not, it's not that level, um, I feel like they are watching you. Union, reconciliation, eternal love, your time has come. See, the divine is, is trying to match you up with somebody here. There is somebody that they're trying to put in front of you. If you keep running into the same person or scrolling through social media and they keep coming up as like a request or someone you may know or your friend keeps mentioning them or a coworker or something like that, that the universe is trying to put this person in front of you. You, you just need to pay attention. All right. Separation, no contact, 5D dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness. That's what I'm saying. They were dreaming something. Could be nightmares. Who knows? Settling, scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. Believe that you deserve the best. Do not settle and fall. Changes in the air. Your answers arrive in autumn. All right. Taurus, what would this person like to say to you? What would they like to say to you? What would this person like to say? Or are you to them? It's time for me to heal now. Hmm. I lost myself for a little while. I love you unconditionally. I feel you even though we are apart. I knew exactly what I was doing. Let's see, this person... I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish I could take back my words. I remember every detail of that day. Tough love, you know? Tough, tough love here. Oof. All right. Um, letters. Uh, could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. There was a lot there. All right. Y A P H M S L Z V. X, U, Q, C, and O. So Y, A, P, M, H, S, L, O, C, Q, U, X, V, Z. Um, just to be fair, I did throw some back in here. Take it with a grain of salt unless it resonates. I don't know. T, N, B, I, G. T, N, B, I, G. I don't want to overdo it with the, with the letters, but... Follow my intuition. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an angel number. Could be an age. Could be a date of significance. So take it how it resonates. All right, we have nine, nine, seven, and twelve, and one. So one, seven, nine, twelve could be the first, seventh, ninth, twelfth, seventeenth, nineteenth of any month. Uh, it could be 79, 71, 91, 97. It could be January, uh, July, September, or December. Zodiac signs could be their uh, star signs, strong placements in their chart. Could Something could happen during that season, uh, like Taurus season, for instance. All right. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer and Pisces. Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, and Pisces. Cancer did show up pretty strong. You guys showed up pretty strong. Um, Sagittarius is here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, um, Aquarius, Libra. Could be anybody, you guys. All right, take it how it resonates. Um, but Taurus, that is what I have for you this week. Please